You're not doing your marketing. And I think I know why. You're a voice actor. You're an entrepreneur. You're a VOpreneur. Welcome to the Everyday VOpreneur Podcast, your guide through the business of voiceover. Your number one marketing tool is your voiceover demos. When you're posting them online, you want to be sure they're playable on any device and with any browser. The Voice Amp Player does exactly that. Sign up at msvo.me slash msvoiceam and receive three months of Voice Amp for the price of one. Sign up now at msvo.me slash msvoiceam. The VOpreneur Podcast. Hey, it doesn't suck. Not as funny as Conan. Not as cute as Seth Meyers. Not as smart as Colbert. But he's one of us, and that counts for something. Here's Mark Scott, the original everyday VOpreneur. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the Everyday VOpreneur Podcast, your guide through the business of voiceover. Today is going to be a touchy subject for some of you. I, I suspect that more than one person listening to this episode today is going to be saying something like, Mark, get out of my head before this episode is over. And that's okay. That's a good thing. I want to be in your head sometimes because if I'm in your head, it means that I'm probably telling you the things that you need to hear. In this episode, we are going to talk about marketing. And more specifically, we're going to talk about why you're not marketing. Now, before we get there, I want to take a moment to say thank you for listening. And thank you for subscribing wherever fine podcasts are given away for free. Remember that you can subscribe to the podcast so that you never have to miss another episode. Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean. And you can listen to any episode, anytime at vopreneur.com. By the way, while you're over at vopreneur.com, make sure you click on the shop button. Pick up a vopreneur tee. Pick up a vo hoodie. Give yourself a little gift just in time for the holidays. Thanks so much for listening, guys. So, marketing is hard. Am I right? Have you said it? Have you told yourself that story before? Have you said any of these? I don't know what to do. Or, I'm not sure where to start. Or, I can't reach out to people because I don't know what to say. You ever feed yourself any of those lines? I'm guessing that you probably have, because those are some of the most common things that I hear from voice actors who are looking for help with their marketing. Now, after you told yourself that you didn't know what to do, or you weren't sure where to start, or you didn't know what to say, then what happened? I'm going to guess that it was one of any of the things that I'm about to rhyme off. So you signed up for another casting site and spent your day auditioning because you assumed that was going to be the solution to the problem. Maybe you decided to fall down a social media rabbit hole and you lost an hour or two or six on Facebook. Maybe you went to binge watching your favorite new show on Netflix or, you know, Disney Plus because, hey, Disney Plus is new and exciting and every cartoon from your childhood Darkwing Duck is on there. And so why wouldn't you take time to binge something on Disney Plus? Maybe you spend some more time complaining that you haven't got enough opportunities. Have you ever done that? I don't have enough work. I don't have enough opportunities. I'm not making enough money. And while you're sitting there complaining about that, can, can I ask just one quick question? Did that ever bring any more work or any more opportunities? Maybe you doubted yourself and your ability because your work wasn't there. Naturally, you know, I'm not booking work, so clearly I don't know what I'm doing. Clearly I'm not good enough, right? You ever told yourself that? Maybe you've cleaned your house, mowed the lawn, shoveled the driveway, gone out and ran an errand. You know, something to distract yourself. Maybe you went out and bought a new piece of studio equipment thinking that was going to solve the problem. The reason why I'm not booking is because my microphone wasn't good enough. The reason why I'm not booking is because I didn't have the right interface. Thank goodness for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, right? Because that new equipment, obviously, in the box with the, with the new piece of equipment is also going to come the opportunities for voiceover work. Am I right? Maybe you decided that you were going to outsource your marketing. This is the solution to all of my problems. Hallelujah. I can't do this. I hate doing it. I don't want to do it. So I'm going to hire somebody else to do it. But then you never actually followed through. Maybe you sent out a tweet directing people to your demo and you called it good enough. Or maybe you posted your demo on LinkedIn and you called it good enough. Speaking of LinkedIn, maybe you jumped on there, sent out a couple of blind connection requests, and that made you feel better. I've done my marketing today. I added a couple people to my network. Maybe you went out and booked yourself admission to 
another voiceover conference because he thought that was going to be the solution that was going to help your career. Getting yourself to VO Atlanta or getting yourself to Mavo or getting yourself to That's VoiceOver, getting yourself to a WovoCon, do it, all your problems are solved. Maybe you spent an hour in a meaningless text conversation with a friend because, you know, you were feeling bad about yourself because you just hadn't been booking. And so talking to your friend was, was going to make you feel better. And that was going to solve all your problems. Maybe you decided to read another book or read another blog about marketing, but then you didn't take any action. Maybe you downloaded a podcast to listen to, like the Everyday Vopreneur podcast. But meanwhile, you're listening to this podcast and you're not doing any marketing. It's an avoidance tactic. Maybe you sent demos to six more agents despite having no work from your current three. But, but maybe the opportunities are going to be in that, that next round of six. That's where all the opportunities are going to come from. Maybe you decided to jump into one of the voiceover groups on Facebook and join a rant about rates, and you blamed Fiverr for your problems. The reason why I'm not booking is because I'm not willing to go on Fiverr, and I'm not willing to work for Fiverr rates, and Fiverr's killed the industry, and it's all Fiverr's fault that my business is struggling. You ever been there and done that? Maybe you booked a session with a big-name performance coach because he thought if you could name drop, that was going to solve all of your problems. Hey, if I tell people that I've coached with Dave Walsh or if I tell people that I've coached with Everett Oliver or if I tell people that I've coached with J. Michael Collins, they're going to hire me. Maybe they will. Maybe, just maybe, you decided that it's too close to the holidays and now would be a really bad time for making connections. You know, people are so distracted by Christmas and, and Hanukkah and all of the holidays that are approaching. You know, New Year's is coming and nobody's really thinking about work. Nobody's really in the office. You know, probably most companies have already shut down by now. So, you know what? It just, it doesn't make any sense for me to devote really a whole lot of effort or attention to marketing right now because nobody's going to read the emails anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it off and... Maybe around the first week of January, I'm going to pick it up again because, you know, that, that would be a better time to do the marketing. How are you feeling right now? Feeling that little, eh, that little tweak in the pit of your stomach? Are you feeling a little bit convicted? Are you guilty of one or two or six of the things that I just said? After doing or saying any or all of those things that we just went through in that list, you're still no closer to new work because you still haven't done the things that you need to do to find new leads because, but Mark, it's so hard. You sound like my seven-year-old when I ask her to clean her room. But daddy, it's so hard. Harsh? Eh, maybe a little bit. But let me remind you, a good coach tells you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. The next time you wonder why your business isn't where you want it to be, why you're not booking as many jobs as you want, I want you to remind yourself of this quote. You should write this one down. Hang it up in your studio, on the bathroom mirror, on one of your kitchen cabinets, on your fridge. It's by Benjamin P. Hardy. And the quote is this. You aren't stopped by obstacles but by easier paths to lesser goals. Boom. That's the mic drop right there. You aren't stopped by obstacles, but by easier paths to lesser goals. So in other words, the fact that you don't know how to market, or so you tell yourself, that's not the reason you're not doing it. The reason you're not doing it is because all those things that I just mentioned in the list above they're easier. All of those things in that list are on the path of least resistance. As long as you're doing work, you're making progress, right? Wrong. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know why Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, do you know why those guys are all billionaires with the same 24 hours a day as you and me? Because they're intentional with their time and they work with purpose. They don't do the easy stuff to avoid the hard stuff. They do what needs to be done. Uh, I want you to sit down for this one. This one's going to sting a little, but I say it in love. 
If you don't have a voiceover booking this week, it's because you're not doing what needs to be done. You are taking easier paths to lesser goals. Feels like a kick in the gut, doesn't it? Let me say it again. If you don't have a voiceover booking this week, it's because you're not doing what needs to be done. You are taking easier paths to lesser goals. So you know what you need to do now? You need to turn off this podcast. And I've kept this episode intentionally short. I want you to close your browser window. I want you to turn off all the notifications on your phone. In fact, I want you to put your phone in a completely different part of the house, like a different room, a different floor, somewhere. Turn it off even. I want you to lock the office door. I want you to turn off the TV. I want you to change the Netflix password. Turn off the radio. I want you to tell your wife and your kids or your husband and your dog that you're not available. And I don't want you to let yourself get up from your desk for any reason except to pee until you've contacted at least 20 new leads today. And don't you dare tell me that it's too close to Christmas. And then I want you to do it again tomorrow. And the next day and the day after that. And you get the idea. If you don't have a voiceover booking this week, it's because you're not doing what needs to be done. You are taking easier paths to lesser goals. Let's take a different path. Guys, thanks so much for listening to this very short episode of the Everyday Vopreneur podcast because I don't want to take up your time. I want you to get into the office, go find those 20 leads. Santa is watching. If you don't do it, you will end up on the naughty list. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Catch you on the next one. The Everyday Vopreneur Podcast. Available everywhere fine podcasts are given away for free. Mostly, we think. Your number one marketing tool is your voiceover demos. When you're posting them online, you want to be sure they're playable on any device and with any browser. The Voice Sam player does exactly that. Sign up at msvo.me slash msvoicesam and receive three months of Voice Sam for the price of one. Sign up now at msvo.me slash msvoicesam. And see. And that's a wrap. Thanks for hanging in. Thanks for hanging out. Want more Vopreneur goodness? Jump online at vopreneur.com.